One really big thing that's keeping you stuck in the past is that you're glorifying what you think would have happened if something else would have happened. Okay, so if you're like, well, if this relationship would have worked out, I've been so happy now. You have no proof of that whatsoever. You're glorifying it. You're saying, if this, I would be happy. You got to be careful because then regardless, you're always going to be seeking something outside of you to make you happy. But when you focus on what you think it should have been, because it would have made it better, you have no proof of that. My mom passed probably nine days before my 14th birthday, and my dad was an alcoholic. There was abuse across the board, and I glorified that whole, if mom would have been alive, my life would have been so much better. I don't, it would have been different. Yes, your life would have been different. You don't know that it would have been better, and you got to stop falling in love and fantasizing that your life would have been better if it would have been different, but you don't know that it would have been dif- uh, better. Okay, these are important things because if you keep staying in the what ifs and could haves, you'll never see opportunity. So you gotta have to let that go. And before you say, well, I don't know how to let things go and nobody tells us how to let things go, accept it for what it is. It's radical acceptance. You're not changing the past. I don't care how much you try and how many times you think about it. All right, it's an acceptance factor. Stop living there.